Hey guys, welcome back. This is Alberto and today I have a nice tutorial for you guys, all right? Today we're going to be texturing a prop from uh, Megascans. So I got this beautiful piece right here and what I did is I exported this to uh, export settings like, oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. And I selected uh, Blender, export it to Blender right here. Right, I disabled the texture just because I, I'm more interested in actually retexturing this. And we're gonna uh, follow uh, this kind of a style for this. So if you see uh, kind of a uh, like weathery erosion, like you know, those uh, stains in there in the cavities, that kind of stuff, we're gonna follow this kind of things, uh, this kind of style for the prop that we're going to be texturing today so uh, i haven't i haven't practiced this at all so <laughs> this is going to be completely exploration for me and uh hopefully some teaching for you all right so let me just move this to the side and let me show you kind of like the uh, the process for exporting this from bridge if you don't know how to do that so uh the idea is you select whatever you want here select the uh texture resolution the format that you want to explore the textures uh, you know, uh, the for, uh, mesh format, the LOD, whatever, and this is for uh, to Blender, and then you just export, export that, and uh, in Blender you have to be, you have, you need to activate this uh, um, Atom Megascan Infra Olympic files, and once you have this, you have to select it, and now it's ready to receive anything coming from uh, Quixel Bridge, and now that I have this, I'm going to export this, uh, actually uh, export this in OBJ, and just to uh, to get the textures and everything, and I have it right here with the normal map. And, and I, actually, I'm just gonna use a normal map in this case. So if I go to Substance Painter uh, right here, there you go. And I'm gonna go to New, and um, yeah, was, uh, we can actually work on 2K, but whatever, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I, I already have the, uh, have here the uh, <clears throat> the model. I'm just gonna click that. I'm gonna hit OK. And now that we have this entirely thing here, the tile object right there looks a little weird because we haven't applied any of the uh, of the textures yet. So we're gonna just uh, drag and drop. And let me save this first. So we have uh, let's go here to save. And I already have one right here, so I'm just gonna uh, okay. Stone statue is kind of like the name. There you go. And now I'm going to select the texture and I'm going to drag it here in the, uh, actually, let me do it the right way. If I put this one right here and I can just kind of drag it here and I'm going to specify texture and then go, I want to project SS is like a, a stone stash or something like that. Import and you're going to have it right there. I'm going to drag it to the normal map and boom. Now that I move this away, look at those beautiful details right there. Ooh, oh my god we haven't finished yet we got to bake the rest of those because uh, we're gonna need that nice details from the curvature and the ambient occlusion so uh, the way to do that we're gonna hit bake here you're gonna hit bake and we're gonna select uh, use low poly mesh high poly mesh whatever just selected that right there I'm gonna put 4k right there I'm gonna deselect normal and we're gonna we don't need the ID and we don't need the thickness so we just need all of those selected right there and just hit bake it's going to give me that nice information there you go i'm in occlusion the curvature look at that oh my god it's beautiful and boom the position done all right now that we have those maps right there let's just make a test to see if it's actually working right now and we're gonna go we're gonna uh delete this one right here we're gonna add a single uh fill layer we're gonna put a nice uh color here kind of like probably like that and no roughness uh no uh zero metallics something like that actually just a little bit of roughness just a little bit yeah there you go, something like that. And I, I can see that the ambient occlusion is working, right? I can see the kind of like there, but I wanna make a deep um, test on this. I'm just gonna go uh, deep red and let's go to black mass, just a real test here, gen generator, and I'm gonna select uh, curvature. And let's see if it's actually working. Look at that. Oh my God, it's beautiful, right? 
I know, I know it's working because you know you, you can see clearly see uh, all those intricate intricate uh, edges and you know position of the thing. If I invert this, let's see what's going to happen. Ooh, look at that! Oh my god, <laughs> freaking love it, man! Look at that. Oh man. Anyways, let me just stop right there. <laughs> let me just stop right there because I'm getting excited. So I'm just gonna um, this is gonna be my base. Just to have something here, just some uh, uh, base color, and we're gonna go from there. So the way I'm gonna, uh, uh, you know, I was thinking on this, uh, like how I'm gonna approach this. I was running today in the morning, and was like, okay, how can I approach this? Just you know, thinking in my head when I'm running. And the way I want to do this is just to uh, let's see if I go back to my references here. Uh, I like this because it's a lot of variation here from there. But the one I want, the way I want to do this, I want to uh, lay down first the general color variation in the surface, and then I want to approach the edges of this uh, of the of the piece. I want to concentrate first on the general overview of the of the object, and then I want to put uh, specific details and, and cavities and edges and where whatever the ambient occlusion is going is to touch or the small details with the curvature, th uh, things like that. So that's kind of that's kind of like is going to be my process for doing this because I, I I think if if I split uh, you know in two stages, I think it's going to be. Uh, Maybe three stages, just lay down some small details on top after I put the, the edge uh, cavity kind of thing details. So just to have a nice variation, then we're going to do some nice uh, uh, gradient uh, on, on, the, on the prop. So, all right, let's do that. So let me just move this to the side, just have it there uh, for me to visualize what I'm working on here. And first of all, I need to get the right color for the base here. Let me just get a nice, um, see a nice, this one maybe. Yeah, that, that one is pretty flat. There's no, a lot of color variation in the light, so that's gonna be good. And I think I'm gonna concentrate, let's see which side I like more the most. So I think, yeah, I think kind of like, yeah, right here, because I have a lot of variation here. I have this nice stash right there, this nice uh, uh, engraving here, and those like the details and that one right there. Anyway, so, all right, let's jump into it. So for the base, I'm just gonna grab some, let's see what kind of color I wanna, that's a nice stone color. There you go, something like that. And let's start uh, by adding some uh, nice uh, grunges on top of that, combined with color, and when I, I wanna add, <clears throat> at least two or three variations of uh, grunches on top just to extract some color from it. So let's go and add some fill layer and this is gonna be my first um, combination. Just let me just uh, look at here. Let's see if I can, I don't think it's gonna let me, oh yeah, it's gonna let me to do go all the way there. Okay, let's go with this. I'm color picking from on the side. It's kind of greenish, kind of looking. There you go, something like this. And I'm gonna go the roughness all the way up and let me go here to dynamic a little bit. Kind of like this. All right, maybe, wait. My first base kind of. All right, there you go. All right, so now that we have this, let's go here and add a, a black mask and let's go to uh, fill and for grunches I have I have them open right here on the side so I'm just gonna keep it there just have more space and I want to have something um, let, me see, let me just show you here it's just better Grunch, grunches there you go so if I go and start looking I think something let me, let me try this one first let's go here with try planar precision but uh, let's see, we've got a rotation here. If I go, yeah, I think this is much better. Let me just go here and adjust. Uh, this is too obvious, so let me just find something more interesting. There you go. Oh, yeah, okay. We're close, we're close there. Let's see. 
Let me try this one here for a second. So I want to try some nice variation. So, okay. All right. So uh, let me duplicate this one here. And I'm going to go with something more like that. And I want to put this one below. There you go. And I'm going to uh, the one to the top. And I'm just going to reduce. There you go. So if I go closer here, you can see what's going on here. You got that one below there, and just apply a little more contrast to it. There you go. So you can see there is a little fade in there. And let me just reduce a little bit of this one. All right, so we're going to add at least, I like the overall. Uh, range of this one. We're going to add another one, and this one on top is going to be a little different. So let's go here a little darker, something like that. And I'm going to reduce also the uh, the balance a little bit, and less contrast. So it's a little faded. I should increase a little bit, and there we go something like that let me go here to the one below and increase a little bit of there we go and the same with this one all right so i have three sets of color right now apply but let me see i got that one but it's covering a lot so let me just reduce There you go. I want to see the three colors going in. All right, now we can see it. We can see we have one, two, and three right there. I like this for an overall like uh, splashes of, uh, of color in there. Nice. All right, now that we have that one, I'm going to put someone below that with a little more randomness. So the colors, this color is not so big. So I'm just gonna duplicate this one right here. Ctrl D, but just right click and duplicate layer. It's gonna go this one. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, something like that. And for that one, I'm gonna do the same process. Gonna add a black mask and go here for fill. Right now, I'm gonna concentrate only on the fill, and uh, then we can go move to the generators. Because generators go is gonna go more specific to some specific areas. So right now I'm just working on the overall of the whole uh, prop. So let's see what's going on here. And let me just turn off this layers right there, so I can concentrate what's going on in here, right? And increase the contrast. But the color is very similar. So let me just there you go. Not too much. Okay, just a little bit. And let's select this one here. Reduce the balance so we don't have too much of it. That's nice. So, but it's two generators. So let me just add another fill. And let's gonna select a different one. Let's go with uh, ground, maybe. Ground, and we go probably ground dirty, probably this one. And we're going to select subtract. I'm going to subtract from the other one. I'm going to add a lot of balance and the high contrast. There you go. So we have that one and we have this one. You see what's going on there. Something like that in the overall. If I introduce this one to the mix and that one and that one. So we see, you see that we have a lot of. Uh, uh, it's a nice balance between the one below the base. If I start turning this off, there you go. We got this one, we got this one here, and start. There you go, I'm splashing all those in there. So we have some nice variation here. <clears throat> all right, so I think uh, da, 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 we're gonna have some, uh, some stains of different kind of like more desaturated kind of color 
So yeah, I was looking to the reference right now. So let's add some uh, randomized stains only on the base of the color. So we're just gonna um, probably uh, duplicate this one right here. I haven't named everything just because I, it's gonna take me a little bit, you know, it's still gonna take longer to do that for me. So I'm just gonna, all right. And I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna go with, I, I know there is uh, some nice stains here, like big splashes. There you go. See those right there? Something like that. And I'm gonna also select, I already have selected that, so I'm just gonna. But the stains are very obvious, too obvious actually. I mean, so what I'm gonna do here is just gonna do the same process. Just gonna go and add another uh, fill layer, and we're gonna subtract just to make it look like if I go here and I select this one right here on the top, I'm just gonna. Just a little bit of contrast here and go here with subtract and just take a look at what's going to happen here. You see that it's fading away the edges, it's kind of like destroying the, uh, the splashes so they're not too strong. See that? That's kind of like adding a little more randomness to the, uh, to the splashes. So we, we still have some of this one here, like it's too, you know, too specific because it probably it's not getting to that. So we need different, it's just like a different crunch to it. And there you go, something like this. High contrast, so you can see you have more uh, affected areas. So if I increase, there you go, something like that. So we have the shape, we have the shape of the splashes, but it's not too intense. That's what I'm trying to avoid here. There you go. I love it. I like the um, nice, 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 nice. All right. So now that we have this. I don't want to mess around too much uh, with the base uh, overall color because I I absolutely love it. But let me just move on to the uh, to the edges. First stage, we're just gonna select all of this, all of this one here, and I'm going to drag, and we're gonna call this. Uh, base color i always do the same thing with it with this word what the heck is going on here <laughs> this is so weird anyway so we're just gonna select this one right here and we're gonna name it um edges this is just a way for me to be organized right so uh there you go so now that we have this i'm gonna i'm gonna put an obvious color here something like green Oof, that's that's intense we go here and just gonna go to black mask and we're gonna go first with a generator and generate i love the curvature by this time and go with the dirt and see how that looks in there oh boy it looks sexy you just go here and just reduce the roughness go all the way all the way out we, we don't need too much too much of it but uh i'm gonna just turn this off and duplicate that one and i'm gonna turn this on to turn that back on and select the curvature one there you go but the curvature i wanted to invert it like i did at the beginning and i want to in increase the contrast of it and this one i'm going to increase the contrast and also the i'm going to reduce kind of like a little bit like that there you go so but for this one i'm going to just select you go here and select uh i think yeah, something like this one. Not too, not like that. There you go, something like this. And we're gonna duplicate this one here. And this one is gonna go below, actually. And we're going to increase the balance of it. And we're gonna change the color. And we're gonna put something like this. All right, I can't see it because the one on top is very intense. Let me just... You see that and we just reduce the contrast a little bit so we have a nice balance in between those two this one i know the color is a little intense so i'm just gonna change a little bit and probably i'm gonna uh, subtract a little bit of it so we're just gonna go here i'm gonna add a fill layer and with the fill layer i'm gonna just subtract and i'm gonna add another maybe this one it's gonna and apply this uh, high contrast here. Let me see how it's that looking. And we just go here and see how much it's affecting. You see that? 
It's, uh, but it's actually, let me go to triplanar. Oh yeah, there you go. Now we're talking. It's, it's actually uh, going more deep into the, uh, you see that? What's going on here? Because um, I like to, but it's too obvious. So let me just change that. Let me just go with something more subtle. Oh, there you go. See how it's fading from the, uh, from the, those edges. That looks so much good, so much better. So me just, you see that? This is the difference. Oh my God, beautiful. All right, so we got something going on here. I absolutely love it. What's going on? And uh, this one here is gonna be the uh, the other way, but just got to concentrate on this one. I'm, I think I'm, I'm in a good path right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna st uh, I think this one and this one. I think I'm gonna select another variation of this one. I'm gonna duplicate that one. I'm gonna go with a little darker. There you go, something like that. But I'm gonna reduce the property of the curvature. So let me go here and gonna just gonna increase the balance a little bit. Remember, I had to increase the balance because the um is inverted, so it kind of is gonna change the game of what's what's happening here. So if I reduce all of the way, oof, too much. So if we go. I think it's that's all all that I act, can actually go. So let me just um, uh, color maybe. Go. Oh wait, it's actually using the same spot from from the other one. It's not a lot of changes in that. Let me just let me see if I can. Trying to find a nice. All right, I think we got it right there. Right there. Let me let me see. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is b before. This is what's going on now. So we don't have a lot, but we got a little bit of it. So if I go and change the color here, you see what's going on. It's affecting uh targeting that specific area right there. We have a nice balance. There you go. Something like that. Let me add, I think, a little bit of roughness here. Look at that. Yeah, I think this is going to be so much better. All right. And now that we have this, <clears throat> it looks um, very uh, generated. Even though that we have some variation here, if you look from top to bottom, it looks very, uh, you know, uh, linear. So we just we need to break that a little bit and add some specific areas. But we're going to do that in a little bit. Not, not you know. We're gonna add, like for example, if I go here, I know that I can add the generator here and go with, uh, I think it is, I think it is the position one. So you see that it's, this is to add a nice grading here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reduce a little bit here and add a little bit of contrast, just a little bit. See that? So now I'm gonna uh, target specific areas of with this um, modifier. I'm going to change the color because this is actually confusing a little bit. And we go here with something uh, like this color. There you go. Darker like that. So, but, and we're going to start doing our magic with, if I go here, you see this is the position, the position uh, uh, in action. So we're going to uh, Go and we're gonna add another uh, fill layer on top, and we're gonna go with uh, subtract, and we're gonna add something interesting here. Let's see what we get. What we get? What we get? What we get? And let's go with subtract. Remember, if you don't change the uh, the mode right there, you're not gonna see the effect. So let me just go here, and of course, let's go with triplanar. You know, something like this. Ooh, that looks nice. Look at that. Uh, ooh, nice. Let me see how that looks. Ooh, I like it. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that effect right there. Like, oh man, this is gonna be nice. Look at that. I freaking love it. If you got time, we uh we we can actually do a uh, quick rendering in Marmoset, probably a second video about about that. 
So now that we have this specific targeting on top, remember, this is kind of like how it looks. You see the difference between the bottom and the top is going, it's a little contrast cutting here and still is uh, like bleeding on top and, you know, down below here, like saying the same here. And kind of like this is very uh, kind of similar, but it's stronger and, you know, weaker in the bottom. Not that one, but this one, you know, that one is a perfect example right here from here to top. So I'm just move this one to the side. All right, so I think uh, I have a good start right now and uh, for the edges specifically. So let's see what we got so far, all right? So let me just turn this off right there and let me just go here. This is our recap that we're gonna be doing here, all right? So we got the base going on here with a little roughness and, uh, going on and we can, you know, we can lower that later, but so far that's what we got. And we started adding more details on top, some more color. We got that going on. And then we started adding some uh, ooh, ooh, uh, nice edge uh, cavity kind of thing, the amino cushion. And then we add this nice on top. But we're going to add some more randomness to this one to the top because it looks actually that it's going all the way, you know, uh, going on all the way. So let me just uh, get some splashes. And remember, all of this is going on and uh like all of this can be actually a small material because i haven't done anything that is not generated okay so that's something fantastic i want to keep it in the same uh, in that kind of thing and the line of generated but you know i'm gonna try my best to actually make it look uh, less generated i don't know if that makes sense for you but i want a more randomized uh, kind of like yeah let me just select this one here and we go here with subtract same process and try planar and let's see how this is gonna affect the overall look yeah this is actually looking good because i have some splashes of it you see that this this part right here doesn't have it but i can have it right here it's just you know it's not all the way like it was looking it was looking very very uh specific so if i go here and see what's going on there absolutely love it and now let me add a filter or a levels and get it here with levels and i'm going to sharp this a little bit yeah something like that make it a little more intense there you go if i take it out and put it back so there you go nice all right so let me just keep working on on those the cavity because i like the cavity but i think if i look to my reference here let's see i had some more interesting colors in there some uh let me just let's see what's going on with this one and put a very uh, kind of like bright one i got something like that i actually like that let me go here. See that? Nice. And I'm gonna target uh, this one. This one here. I'm gonna target this one a little bit because I wanna create a second variation with another color here. And not green because and I know I know. Let me just go here and select. Because right now, the one that we have right now is, let me just turn this off right now. And let's see with the dirt, actually gonna uh, go with the, uh, actually, let me just keep it with dirt for a little bit. Let's see, the dirt level, how much it's gonna go. Let's see, da, 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 da. let's go with curvature. Let's see, and leave it like that, how it is right now. It's a, it's, a, it's attacking uh, the exterior. The one is uh, facing uh, outside, not the one's going inside. So I like that, kind of like the edges. But we're gonna change that a little bit when we start adding this stuff. Right now, see that? We're gonna take the levels out. And Okay, keep it like this one. Oh, I like this one. I like that effect. But for the curvature, let me just go 
What's going on? Why I, I don't see the effect. Huh. That's weird. Let me take this off. Okay, and let me change the color here. Nice. Like it, like it, like it, like it. So if I turn this off, I don't see the other one below, but I'm gonna change that in a little bit in a little bit. What if I change position? And let's see if I can increase temperature range. I don't see any changes in that. Yeah. Let's go again. I think it's more of, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that doesn't make any sense. But this one is way too generated. I can actually change a little bit of the opacity here, introducing. There you go, yeah, okay. So if I turn off, we can see from, there you go. Yes, a little bit of it. Nice, and I think this one is a little too intense. Let me just reduce this a little bit or change the color. It's too obvious. There we go. And I'm gonna introduce some, uh, something like this one, but big splashes on top, only on, on, on top, so. Let's go select a uh, dark color. Something like that. And roughness up. Go with black mass. And let's go with a generator. And let's go with curvature. And it's going to invert something like that. affecting this area right there and let's gonna kind of add another position oops let's save it right now a bit of time all right so let me go here with um, what's gonna do in here oh okay generator position and <coughs> Get the same thing and let's go with got another generator let's go with dirt but the dirt is going to be subtracting from the other one there we go and now that we have this one i'm going to add a fill and also subtracting and go with this one this time And there you go. So this is kind of like what's going on here. All right, so let's see uh, what we got here. There you go. All right, and if I turn this off, turn this off, turn this off. Okay, there you go. We still have, every time I put the position on top, the curvature just disappear. It's still there, but I don't know. Since I can see it in the mask, what if I change the color of this? Let's see what's going on. I don't want to go. I don't want to go too intense. Nice splashes in there, and let me go and add, add another grunge to subtract from that one. And maybe 
this one and go like that. And let's go to subtract. There you go. And let's go to another one. I'm trying to add a lot of randomness to the to the effect. Try planar and let's go to subtract again. All right, and I just add a little bit. See how that looks. It's very affected, very, very affected. This effect is very intense. Let me just reduce a little bit. There you go. Something like that. All right. It's kind of what we got. Top. I look kind of like a dusty kind of looking in there. And I like that the, uh, the sculpture looks, you know, it's been touched by the effect from the top. I want to add uh, some curvature in the edges on here, just a little bit. So I'm going to target only that part. And the way I'm going to do that is uh, I'm going to create another, there you go, something like this one, kind of black mass, and I'm going to add a generator, and then let's go with curvature, All right, and I'm going to high contrast. There you go. You can see it right there. So now that we have that, of course, uh, we can add that in the top out. I want to uh, duplicate this one. I'm going to turn this off for a little bit. And we're going to add another generator. I'm going to go with position. I think the light uh, gen uh, gen uh, generator thing I also can do that. But just concentrate right here. Because when I get, I get something like that. Uh, ooh, ooh, there you go. Yeah, something like this. A little bit of blur. Ooh, ooh. Why is it affecting that? Session gradient. No, not a lot of contrast. Something like that. There you go. And I think. Yeah, I think this is much better. Let me just try that with the other ones. This position, let's go with multiply. Huh, it's only affecting down there. Okay, that's a little weird. Let's go with, um... all right, so we're just keeping this one for a little bit. So if I go here, change the color. And a roughness. Let me just add the same. 
another fill and this one's gonna be a uh, subtract and okay there you go let's see how that looks okay It's affecting only that position right there. <clears throat> okay. Oh. I wish I can see it. Okay, let's see global contrast. All right, there you go. But I think this one is taking a lot from the other one. Put this one little slot in there and reduce the roughness going on there. And change a little bit of color here. Just a little touch in there. Okay. So uh, let me just make a review of what I have so far and see if I can actually take out or wait, do we need? Okay, so, so far we work on the edges and, and just on the overall, just turn this off for a little bit here. And I can think I can, uh, okay, we do that, we put that one on top. That one is very intense. We're gonna reduce that a little bit. Something like that. The one on top, reduce that one a little bit too. There you go. And the next one and the next one. Reduce it a little bit just on the cavity kind of thing. This is the overall. This is. There you go. I like that, and that one, and that one, down below. All right, so I think the that one on top is a little intense. This one here is a little intense, so we're gonna just um, change the color here. But that's kind of like what I want in here, so. Just go on. Yeah, it was very intense because of the levels. It was sharpening a lot more. So let's see if I start. This is kind of like the position of the whole thing. I subtracted this from that one. And I subtracted that one a little bit more. But that one is a little intense. We just do this a little bit. Something like that. And we're just gonna add another fill. Let's do this one here. Go projection and subtract. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think we can change that one. We already have a linear one, so let's see with this one. 
let's amplify the contrast here and see go to material and see what's going on that's taking a lot actually all right yeah Nice, nice. Let's do a, a quick rendering. Let's see how that looks. Clear color. Right, I like it. I'm just I'm, I'm going to add some more splashes on top of it. Like, uh, let me see if I can find it here in the reference. Some more neutral splashes on top of it. The other the, the other ones that I have here in the reference, they have a really high contrast. So you can see you can see a lot of definition from the texture like this one here. You can see the difference in right there. It's a big giant splash right there. I want to do something similar here, but just a specific areas. So let's do that. And I'm going to just add another fill layer. All right. Now that we have that, let's just go with a nice kind of something like that. Roughness all the way up. Get a black mask and go to fill. And I was gonna add some of those. Let's see which one here. Uh, okay. Ooh. All right. What's going on here? Okay. Let's increase the uh, the contrast. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Not this one, but something like that. And only some specific areas, which is. This is a lot of trier error just to find something something that actually works. Which Jesus that's a lot. No, it's too overall. I need some to generate it. Let me see. Okay. And we can work on that. Yeah, maybe something like that. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's just deselect that. And I'm going to start subtracting from that one with other fills. So let me just start with this one here and got to subtract triplane contrast up. Oh. No, not that one. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let me go with one more. Actually, not a generator, another fill. Let's say this one here. Uh, subtract.
I feel like this one is actually too big. Yeah, it's, I need, okay. Hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the position, I forgot about that. Let's go with position, generator, and position. And this one can right here, maybe multiply. Okay. All right. But I'm losing uh, details on this one. Oh shit, I, f I forgot. That's the size actually. Not the position. Let's see how that looks. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We structured that one, we structured those. I think I like it, yeah, yeah. You know, you see how it's disappearing, but it's actually still 20 times. We just reduce the contrast a little bit. There you go. All right, fair enough. I like it. I like the, uh, it's not that intense, but man, we did some some good work here on the uh, the edges, kind of like uh, intricate uh, details in there. We just uh, go here for a little bit. Let's see what we got. Let's go with this one first. Okay. This one is still very intense. There's some areas that look actually generated. So I'm going to try to add another. See, how, let, let me experiment something here real quick. Subtract and let's go with dirt. I'm going to invert. High contrast. Okay. Nice. See that? It's sticking a little bit so it's not that intense. I like it. And let's go with another one. And let's see. Where do we go here? This is just an experiment right now. I have in my head this kind of like. Um, there we go. Okay, and now that we have that, go with the generator. Let's go with curvature. And the curvature is going to be extracting. And contrast. And of course, it's just invert. See how that looks. All right, and change a little bit the color.
Yep, something like that. I like it. I like it. So if you go too close, you can actually see the fibers, but not a lot. Let's do another render test. We're almost done. It just, you know, adding some little details on top. Let's go there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I like the touch here in the edges, that final, the one that I just added. I think I'm going to add another one on top of that. I'm going to duplicate this one here. And uh, and I think I'm going to add another generator for that one. And the generator is going to be a little bit of dirt. Yeah. And just going to reduce the amount and going to contrast height that. There you go, something like that. And I'm gonna change the uh, the roughness of it. Maybe the color. There you go. Oh, I forgot to do this. Subtract. And I'm gonna add, I think. There you go. Uh, where do I have the splashes? There you go. Those right there. I'm going to duplicate those. I liked it. I'm just going to go with another different one. That one was uh, stained spots. I think it was this one. Yep, that one. I go with this one. But it's kind of like hidden, so I'm just going to put it here on top. Maybe a little closer to the surface. You can see there, right? Yeah. But it's too big. Let me just see if I can. All right, there you go. Okay. And if I take that, you can see that. Okay, yeah. They're too big. Let me just change that one. Some more smaller ones. Maybe those. All right. All right, I think we're done, guys. I think this is it. I like the uh, the experiment. I'm pretty sure if I get, you know, uh, you can explore a lot more and try to find some interesting color variations and color edge on the edges, and you know. But I think for the purpose of the tutorial, we got something really good going on here. We added a lot of uh, generators and a lot of um, com combination of a generator with fill layers to subtract and make it more uh, random-ish and try to damage a lot more. From If I take this one, for example, here, you can see that's the overall effect. But if you start adding, the position just starting to add, uh, kind of like distinguish, uh, where is it that I want to uh, specify that, it's just autumn bit by bit just trying to build it out and subtract it from the uh from the base one so it's kind of like um you build up your material just by adding and subtracting and trying to change emergent mode here and just create something interesting so i i hope you got something good from the tutorial and you you know you learn something interesting here like i said before i i 
this is my first try but uh, doing this with you guys for a tutorial so I really apologize for for the mess and uh, I hope you learned something so and just just uh, recap what we did here we started first with a base uh, of color and we went from that like started adding more and more building just uh, kind of like the base of uh, more random colors and on the surface of, uh, of the prop and then we just started like adding more and more edge uh, deformation on the like in color and kind of like the cavities and everything all those intricate uh, with the ambient occlusion kind of touches right there we added some nice details in there so that's kind of like we did in the tutorial I hope you like I said I hope you learned something and if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please do and uh, uh, you know hit like and share the video please and uh, all right I'll see you in the next tutorial hopefully will be me trying to render this out in marmoset so thank you guys and see you in the next one bye bye